Good morning everyone. Today we will talk about our adventure we had in summer camp about squish the fish. We found the treasure chest, met a mermaid and we learned that we will go on our own adventures and no matter where we go mommy and daddy will always return always be there for us. We learn some breathing exercises when we are found ourselves alone. We put in our ne legs together, putting our arms around our legs, and then ah, pull ourselves tight. Ah, okay. Just feeling Rub our ears from the top to the bottom. Just calming ourselves. Mommy and Daddy, this will also work for you. When you feel stressed out and when you need to relax a little bit, just rub your ears. We went on our first air balloon ride. So how did we do this? Put your arms around your mouth. and breathe out. And then we go tick, tock, like, rock. So I found my same Day two of her summer camp. Big space adventure. We met an alien, climbed a mountain, had a picnic on a mountain, sang with the stars, and we took a surfboard ride down the mountain to our rocket. We talked about why the moon changed its phases. We talked about day and night. And lastly, we learned another common ground technique by rub rubbing our jaws. We used this rubbing our jaws to test our equipment. So now we know a few more common ground techniques. We rub our, we can rub our ears, we can rub our jaws, make ourselves as small as a ball, small as a mat. Now we keep it up so we know we can't be safe. That was our adventure in space. Day three of our summer, summer camp, and this is probably one of my favorite adventures. Having party with the dinosaurs. We met with Stegosaurus, Triceratops, Pterodactyls, uh, Bronchosaurus, t even T-Rex. We baked some pie, we had a big party, we met with a silly frog and we learned about herbivores, carnivores, what their teeth look like, were their teeth, we, were their teeth shaped, we ate some trees, we ate some leaves, we stomped like T-Rexes and most importantly we learned why they are all important in our ecosystem. Day four of our summer camp. So today we learned about Goldilocks. That is one of my favorite 
fairy tales. Um, and this story, we meet a little beautiful little girl, the name Goldilocks. And then mommy was busy and she asked Goldilocks to please go play outside while she is doing what she needs to do. So Goldilocks was playing outside, very like a good little girl, like mommy asked. But then she was distracted by a butterfly and she wanders out of the yard into the woods. In the woods, she meets some wonderful animals, goes on a little adventure, um, and then gets lost. So she gets totally lost um, and she needs to find a way home. And then she finds this woodchopper that gave her wonderful advice, um, advising her to go over the bridge to this house where there to this house that there might be somebody that can help her. Um, in this house stays a family of three bears, a mommy bear, a daddy bear, and a baby bear. And mommy they, bear had prepared some oatmeal for them because it was a little bit hot. So daddy advised them to go for a little walk. Um, we had, they had this beautiful garden with the flowers and the chicken. Um, and, then, and, and then Goldilocks gets to the house and there's nobody inside the house. So she went in hoping that somebody's maybe on the back of the house and couldn't hear her, you know, you know what it's like. And so she went in the house. She finds this porridge and she ate this porridge. And she realized that maybe she should have asked before she ate this. Um, and then she went into the lounge because her tummy was nice and full. And she went sitting on this chairs and then she broke a chair and feeling very guilty about what she did, she thought that she would sit and wait for this family to come back and then apologize for what she'd done. And then she felt tired, she was laying on, on the bed and she fell asleep. So when those bears came back, they found her in the bed and they, um, she got a fright and she ran back home and when she got home, her mother was so concerned to phone the police and uh, everybody to help find her. But she was very grateful for having Goldilocks back. And in this story, we learn that doesn't matter if you get lost or what happens, parents will go find her.